We have to have data that describes the student's present level of performance, oral language proficiency, reading, and writing. Uh, and once we have that, though, I think we also have to have access to data that allows us to look at the student's performance retrospectively. Once we have a description of the child's present level of performance, we have to have access to data that allows us to look retrospectively, preferably from the point of school entry, to see how the child's performance has changed over time. So what level of language proficiency did they have in their native language and English when they started school and now three years later where are they in terms of developing uh, proficiency in native language and or uh, in English and how much uh, have their writing and reading skills uh, developed. And so I think that in the area of literacy schools now pretty much monitor uh, performance on a regular basis. They do universal screenings to establish a baseline. They provide instruction and then they look at benchmarking and progress monitoring assessments so that they know how students, whether students are uh, acquiring the skills that are, that are being taught. I don't think we do as good a job in the oral language domain. So teachers tend to rely on annual assessments of language proficiency, but they also have to recognize that oral language should be a part of their daily instruction and that they need to monitor how the student is developing skills across uh, languages. And uh, that, that I think is harder for teachers because we don't stress that uh, as, as often. And then when the student begins to experience difficulty, you can't explain present level of performance unless you know where the student started. And the question that you're trying to answer is really where did the student start? Has he or she had appropriate instruction to develop the skill? what has been the response to that intervention, and when the student has struggled, what have I done to help um, get the student back on, on track? And so that becomes really important data in making decisions about whether this is a student who may have a disability, and that would be the student that, despite appropriate core and supplemental um, intervention, has not made the progress that we would expect and the progress is significantly different from that of peers.